Happy Sunday everyone. Um, it's really lovely and quiet around here today because we're right in the middle of the common riding season. Common riding season basically means that it's a celebration of the Braveheart movie, The Battle of Flodden, where the Scots beat the English. I had no idea moving to Scotland how much they hated the English. <laughs> It was so strange because, you know, you hear when you're at school, when you're in England, about Mary, Queen of Scots and all these type of things. But obviously you hear it very much from the English point of view when you're living in Surrey, you know, just outside London. And it was really, really quite strange coming up here, you know, we're like, OK, then. <laughs> you don't know the history. You have to find out the history yourself. Um basically two wee boys at the battle that, that, that you actually see in the film they take the flag the english flag and they take it back to selkirk which is about 13 14 miles away from us another little village and uh the ride out what it means what they're doing is they're going around all the old places that they would be checking basically they would ride out and they would check these areas looking for invaders looking for you know the british basically and um this is what the common ride's about so they have these ride outs for six weeks in hoig everybody else just has it for the weekend um and they will go out say to new mill out that way they go all over the place and this weekend is denham for well, denham you can walk from here to denham it's about two to three miles away beautiful village green with houses on three sides and then across the road the other side you've got a wee pub and a couple of shops very quaint very lovely and everybody goes there and the kids have a wonderful time playing and running around and the adults get drunk basically um, and then they all come back around about up at seven eight o'clock at night and they go to the hub where i used to volunteer and they carry on down there so as you can imagine they're all still in bed even though it's quarter past 11 in the morning on sunday it's great i love these weekends next weekend it's the mayor and that's up the other end of hoik and it's horse racing now it's horse racing as in all the horses that have taken part on these ride outs um, and everybody goes up there and you know they spend two days again getting drunk <laughs> on Thursday the day before the mayor it starts at about five o'clock in the morning they have a ride out very very early in the morning and then the cornet who is the guy who will be leading all these rides outs um goes around all the schools and they close the schools down in the area and then the kids are then off till tuesday um and i have never attended any of it <laughs> i am well chuffed about that because i really am into drunk people hanging around me um but it's it's great because i know for two weekends it's so quiet here you you could you could hear a pin drop but it is so lovely because the peace that descends is amazing if you ever go on to hoik high street when the mayor is on it's like a ghost town there is nothing the shops are all closed it's just am i in the same place you know i know we call it brigadoon here because we always see it's very, very old fashioned in its thinking. And, you know, you, things like when Pokemon cards came out, it took about two years for people to realise what they were up here, you know. <laughs> anyway, Norella, lovely Norella from Calico Collage. I received her email the other day and I was so inspired. I thought, well, I'm going to print off her freebies from last month and this month and do a wee folio. Now, these images, I'm going to show you now this one is the first one and then if i scroll this up because this is not being good this one here is the second one these are from last month and they're gorgeous aren't they absolutely gorgeous and then this month's which is hiding down there this is this month's okay and they come in her email now norella always gives you the freebie from the month before at the same time so it's really handy because you're able to keep up i will send you the link for email i'm 
quite sure when you sign up you still get the email for this month so you should get these two images these well it's three images isn't it but the two months and this is the folio i made i thought you would like to see the folio i made i've used some other papers in this which i'll show you at the end of the video um so this is my folio i used a 12 by 12 envelope that i'd got through when you order 12 by 12 papers or if you order a vinyl cd or some uh, sort cd vinyl lp or something you'll get these huge 12 by 12 envelopes and the card is amazing it is absolutely brilliant for junk journal making so um how i start is i basically ooh, let's just turn it over be easy doing it this way i print off a lot you know the paper that onto card you know i print it off onto card that the actual page that i'm using and i print off three cut card to the same size pop it on either side and that the extra piece of card i make my pockets out of so on the front underneath here you will see a paper now lorella has these they're music pages now she has I think it's about six if i actually pop it up on my tv so i can tell you quote you exactly it's called sheet music and you get hang on uh no nine you get nine with the florals on it different florals different roses daisies things like that and then you get eight no nine again with out so you know if you ever want music paper it's there you haven't got to go and hunt for you know your vintage stuff that you'd prefer to keep for your journals you know because when you're making these little giveaway things you know you don't always want to use all your vintage stuff so i've backed it onto these this is what i decided to use and the labels that i've used on these is one of norella's that i've had for years it really is an old one and i will link it might be easy to see it that way i will link this as well um and this has been out oh i think about four years now this one but I often come back to this when I'm working with Arella stuff because the, the colours just match match perfectly. So I will link that as well when I finish the video. So let's go into our little folio. Um, these stamps are absolutely lovely. So I've again used the music paper underneath. These, all of the, the, the tuck spots, whether I've got it as a up, you know, on the side or at the bottom are all two and a half inches and I find it fits perfectly because it holds everything in really really well as you can see I've used I'll remove that to not be able to see that what we've done underneath can you see that I think you might be able to see that a bit better like you instead of having the folio in front um I've used again another one of our little labels and I've used lots of lace on these ones I decided that the two pages from the set from last month to use lace on and sew and the ones from this month I have kept as sort of near as I can to the original. I decided I was going to keep it plainer, but still embellish it. I'm not sure if you can see the tree here. It's absolutely lovely. And this is the one from the month before. Now, what I absolutely loved and adored this it's huge it's a huge huge bookmark it's not even going in the screen but i don't want to keep moving the the, the camera up and down and it is absolutely gorgeous now i've left it in the folio for now but i am definitely going to be using this and making a couple more because i do so much reading <laughs> in fact on twitter at the moment it's quite funny but i've got a, a few authors that are on twitter and i talk to and things like that and there are some amazing books out in the uk at the moment i'm sure they're out, <laughs> out in america and other places too but i'm just loving it. i'm just having a great time with books i love this page absolutely love it and the little tea cards i still can still remember getting the brook bond tea with the tea cards in <laughs> We always used to, you know, root in the packet to see what we had this month. It's like with a cereal when they used to always, always used to have the toys in the cereal. You know, you'd, you'd, you'd find your brother with his hand right in the cereal somewhere and you're thinking, I hope to goodness he washed his hands first. I love this image as well. And, and 
it has really, really inspired me getting all these from Arnorella. It, it, they're just such beautiful images. And I think she's one of the forgotten artists that we, we don't think about so much these days. But her work is gorgeous. Absolutely lovely. There's our deer. And our butterflies. And as you can see, her little labels, they just complement everything. I know it's i know it's June. I do know it's June and that says July, just in case you think I've completely lost it. They didn't, she didn't have a June, so, but I thought, well, if I stick July on, if I decide to send it somebody, if I wait to the end of the month, it will be July. <laughs> that, was, that was the logic in the madness. Um, but you see how easy it is to do this. You know, you've got a piece of card, you're folding it in half. And as I say, I always put something quite thick in on the inside to give it the stability. And then you have the most beautiful folio. You don't have to have all the flips in and out if you're going to want to go and post it to somebody because you want to try and keep it as thin as possible, don't you? I do always back my cards. Um, what I do is I'll, I'll print off the main sheet and then I'll print off another page, you know, whichever paper I'm using and that gives it's thick enough that it, it gives it some stability but it also means it's light enough to go into your uh folio and to post because obviously you don't want anything too thick and heavy particularly if you decide you're going to send it away you know abroad or somewhere um talking about sending things away uh friendly junk journal people the swaps are back up now i haven't sorry i'm just shifting you slightly um there's one in there and it's the page where you create a page and you send the page off so obviously you, you've got you make your journal page and you decorate the front and the back and i've done them before and there's videos of me of what i've done before now this one is actually really interesting ladybirds well or ladybugs as you call them over in america ladybugs and do you know, I have so many um, collections of papers and images and everything. And do you know, I've not got one that is actually ladybird or ladybug orientated. I was absolutely amazed. So I had to go on to Etsy to Google it to see if there was anybody out there who'd actually done ladybird um, kits. And there are actually very, very few and far between ones. So if you know anybody who, who actually does a really good ladybird kit, let me know. Because I was, I, was, I, was, I was so surprised that something that everybody absolutely loves and adores, it's just not there. You know, it's, it's, it, it was just amazing. You know, particularly, you know, this time of year, because you are starting to think about summer and I noticed downstairs are... Oh, Jody, she's been amazing. She's she's absolutely worked like I don't know tomorrow downstairs on our gardens, and I noticed one of her roses. It's just started, got a few little tiny tiny aphids come on it, and I thought, well, the ladybirds would be happy with that. <laughs> so they're getting fed this year. <laughs> I'll put it that way. It gives you a headache. Right now, the paper that I used are these. Sorry, you're going back up again. I do apologise. It's trying to get it right. This kit, I fell in love with this kit when Arnorella put it out. Uh, had to be around Easter sometime. And it's called Sweet Calico. And in it, you've got woodland creatures. And it is absolutely lovely and adorable. This is just the main kit. There are add-ons and they are adorable so i thought i'd quickly quickly show you this kit as well it is just absolutely the cuteness overload it really is and norella is just so clever at doing these aren't they amazing look at the expression on that fox i mean they're wonderful absolutely wonderful i love the crow I do, I do have a thing about crows. We have them here. Isn't that wonderful? I mean, it's things like this that she will tell you these are corner pockets and show you how to put them in your journals. 
you know, not a lot of people do that in their kits. I mean, it's like belly bands. See, so you've got your belly bands on this one. I should show you tags first. And she's showing you how to put your belly bands in, which I think for somebody who's new to journaling is a fabulous idea to actually tell you how to do it. Like here with the pockets, she's shown you how to fold them and put them in. Then we come on to these papers. Oh, these papers are absolutely lovely. Really, really beautiful. Okay, they're just, it's autumnal colours. But you know it's spring and summer coming. It's it's just so, so lovely. You can see that the summer meadow's coming. Our first buttercups came up about a week ago. And the daisies were popping their heads through as well. And then I hear Jodie cutting the grass. <laughs> I was going to go down and press some of the buttercups. But they disappeared. So I'll have to make sure I do it next time. Look at that cat's face. Isn't she lovely? It's like Beatrix Potter, but even cuter. But she just has such an amazing knack. She really does of creating beautiful. She has no idea I'm doing this, by the way. <laughs> this is not a design team project. This is just me wanting to show you some of our gorgeous, gorgeous creations. So that's all the pages that I used. That's the new kit. Well, she has, she's actually got more kits than that. She has that many kits as I'm real. Now, if you type in Calico Collage into whichever browser you do use, whether it's, I don't know, Bing or whether it's uh, Google or wherever, you will get a page that comes up with so much stuff from Calico Collage. It's amazing. Now, she has her own website for a start off. She has Kofi, and there are printables on there and freebies and she has her Etsy. So she's all over the place. Um, but the thing that, 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 that surprised me was when I was actually going through this. On the first page, if you go down and it says as seen on. Now, I didn't know this. Now, I've known Norella for a long time. It says. Many wonderful designers have used Calico Collage's high quality printables to create amazing cre creations that have been featured in publications and on television. We've been spotted in Beed It, Be Trends, Stampington and Co, Create and Craft TV, and The Vampire Diaries TV show. How amazing is that? No, I didn't know that. <laughs> It's funny, isn't it? How you know somebody all this time, and I didn't know that. Um, now, the other thing I want to say, when you're looking, if you haven't got a printer, Linda, when she does her her um, kit, which she does every couple of months, she does a box, and the box will contain everything you need to make your journal. The pages are printed in very high quality uh, paper, photo paper and you get things like gems you get tattered angels all sorts absolutely amazing i think there's stencils in there beautiful norella for the last i think it's about a year or so is doing her kits as a printable that you can get on amazon so you will get it's already printed you know it's it's made into, into you know so you're ready to make your journal you have your pages there you have all your ephemera and it is all printed out and it's on this high quality paper again this this photo paper so if you haven't got a printer or if you want to make something that is printed on really high quality paper you can go and get these and they're all on amazon I I know there's quite a few. Um, when I last looked, there was there's at least about twelve um, of these books out there already. These these kits that are already to send to you. So you don't have to have a printer. And then the other thing is, once you're making your journal, if you add other things like. Um, book pages, uh, tea dyed papers, all sorts of things, you are going to land up with a journal that is unique to you and personal to you. 
but you've got it almost in book form when it comes and it will change so I thought that was such a lovely thing of her to do. I've not seen anybody else do that. I know there are a couple of the lasses that do um, offer to print the kits for you. Um, in the past, I've actually printed stuff for a couple of girls who didn't have printers. So they would buy the kit. I would then download it onto mine, print it and send it off to them. I never ever used their kits I never used them for myself personally it was purely for them I mean like one of them it was all about dogs and I'm not a dog person I'm afraid I, I, I will spend time with dogs but I'm very much a cat person so you know but it isn't something that I would use anyway so you know but I always make sure that I show the last that I'm deleting the files after I've printed them and it's lovely to be able to share and help others in the community isn't it so this is a big shout out for our for our Norella. I love her to bits. She works really, really hard. You know, she's got a young family there as well that she looks after. And she supports Linda so much. It's, it's absolutely amazing. Um, Linda's kit that's out at the moment, it is absolutely lovely. It's planetary. But it's floral planetary. Um, I've actually got... I haven't realised they're under there. I've actually got the papers here, which will give you an idea. If I actually stick it that way around, you can see that. Or do I? No, that'll work. Let me just lift it up a tiny bit. Yeah, 